Hi and welcome to Dorothy Marie vlog and today we will be discussing about electromagnetic waves. So, let's start. So, electromagnetic waves are considered transverse waves since these oscillating electric and magnetic fields which are perpendicular to the direction in which the waves move. So as you can see on the picture, so it is a 3D with X, Y, and Z axis. So this one is the direction of the wavelength, the waves, and the magnetic field with the Z in the Z axis is pointing here is making a 90 degree angle to the electric field that's why they are called transverse waves another definition is that electromagnetic waves are arranged in electromagnetic spectrum based on frequency which we consider as a variable f wavelength which is called the lambda with this symbol and photon energy which is in letter in capital letter e so in when in vacuum wavelength which is the lambda of all em waves is given by the mathematical relationship lambda is equal to c over f so this the lambda is the wavelength the c is the wave speed which is equal to a constant of 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second and f is the frequency in hertz hertz is the number of cycles per second so let's have a sample problem so the first sample problem is the AM radio extends from 5.4 times 10 to the 5th hertz to 1.7 times 10 to the 6th hertz. What are the longest and shortest wavelengths in this frequency range? So there are two given here. And we already know that C is equal to 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And we are asked for the longest and shortest wavelengths so let's solve that so our working equation here is lambda is equal to c over f so we already stated the given and unknown so let's solve now for the longest and shortest wavelengths so for, we'll solve the first using the first frequency and we'll know which is the shortest or the longest after knowing the two values. So, letters, um, the constant C is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, while the F is 5.4. Times 10 to the fifth hertz. So hertz is equal to, this is the number of occurrences and a time. So this means it's per second. So if it's per second, we can cancel this 2 here and we are left with the unit meters here so the answer would be 5.6 times 10 to the 2 meters so remember this value as we will compare this to the second wavelength So, for the second wavelength, so lambda 2 is equal to C over F. C is equal to 3 
times 10 to the 8 meters per second over the second frequency which is 1.7 times 10 to the 6. So take note that the exponents are of different values. So make sure that you type in your calculator correctly. So this second wavelength is equal to 1.8 times 10 to the 2 meters. So comparing to the first wavelength, we got 5.6 times 10 to the second power. So meaning, so this one is the this one is the shortest the shortest wavelength. While the 5.6, so let's type it here. So the 5.6 times 10 to the, no, the second meters is the longest wavelength. So since there are two given so since there are two given which are the two frequencies we all know that in math when we divide a number um the greater the number in the denominator the less is the answer the final answer so if we divide it with 1.7 times 10 to the 6 it is obvious that we can get a a greater number than in the 5.4 so we already know without getting their final answers yet of which will yield the longest and the shortest wavelength so we have an exercise here radio emissions from jupiter that can be detected on earth falls between the frequency range of 8 megahertz to 40 megahertz so we have three knowns to find here so letter a find the shortest wavelength jupiter radio wave that can be detected on earth letter b find the longest wavelength jupiter radio wave that can be detected on earth and letter c find the wavelength of the jupiter of the jupiter radio wave that has a frequency of 20.1 megahertz so let's have this exercise number one so we have three unknowns here find the shortest let's have the first one find the shortest wavelength jupiter radio wave that can be detected on earth so as i said from the previous problem that in getting the shortest wavelength we need to divide it with greater value of frequency so thus it is um the shortest wavelength of course under the 40 megahertz and take note that megahertz is let's have it letter a so lambda the shortest is equal to 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second all over let's write 40 here 40 megahertz and Converting this, we need to convert. So we need to convert it to hertz. So to convert it to hertz, we need to multiply it by 1 megahertz. So let's write it here in the denominator so that we can cancel this 2 after. Is equal to 1 times 10 to the 6 the 6 hertz or um, 1 million hertz is equal to 1 megahertz so let's cancel this let's cancel this and we are left with this hertz now is in seconds and we can cancel this one already 
and we are left with meters so let's calculate so we have 7.5 meters so we can consider this 7.5 meters as the shortest wavelength Jupiter radio wave can be detected on Earth. So let's go to letter B. So for letter B, find the longest wavelength Jupiter radio wave that can be detected on Earth. So let's use the 8 megahertz here. So lambda longest is equal to 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second over, um, we'll use the, fourth, uh, the 8 here and we'll convert it 1 times 1 times 10 to the 6 hertz is equal to 1 megahertz. So this one is equal to 37.5 meters. Since we can cancel this one from this as here. So this one is the longest now. So let's proceed to letter C. So for letter C, find the wavelength of the Jupiter radio wave that has a frequency of 20.1 megahertz. So we'll call it lambda only. And so it is important to write down the units so that you will know which one will be cancelled after and which one will remain for the final unit. So let's have 1 megahertz is equal to 1 times 10 to the 6 hertz. And with the frequency 20.1 we have 14.925 meters so that's all so if you want to have another video for this lesson just comment down below and please like share and subscribe my channel dorothy marie vlog thank you and god bless